Hey, uh, Randy James. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about Donald Trump telling people to drink bleach? Trump, Trump, you know, you know, Trump. He, they say he told people to drink bleach, and it, it ain't no good for them. But I, I know a boy up, up the street, Juki. Well, he he been drinking bleach since he's twelve years old. But his brother Scooty well, wasn't so lucky because he died. You see, uh, huffing coolant from the air conditioner. But Juki. He fine. He's been drinking bleach since he's 12 years old. He's now about 38 years old. So he's been drinking bleach for like 10 years. Pro <laughs> character, sorry about that. Scooty. Scooty. Juki and Scooty. Those are real kids that I knew when I was young. Juki and Scooty. A grandma, Mama James. She uh, she got a feed store, grain and feed. But uh, I like to mess with her a little bit. I called it Mama James Feed Store and Fuckery. Cause what happened was, well, before I was ever born, uh, she was a hooker. Oh, Mama was wild back in the day. But well, then she found she found Jesus, and well, now she went went straight. And she got herself a little green feed store at Rose. Nice, real nice. Mama James feed store and fuckery. <laughs> That's my only living relative other than my brother. So, what else you want to know? Um. So, rumor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> rumor has it that you have a child. About the age of ten, but uh, yeah, is that true? Well, I thought it was true, but tur turns out that, uh, yeah, you know, well, I don't, I don't think the child's totally white, so and the mom's white, so I'm thinking, you know, maybe the daddy won't white. Look who me. Well, they say she looks just like you, and um, her name is Brandy James. Well, yeah, well, but I don't want nothing to do with that girl because I done hurt, hurt about her. Ten years old, she been stealing. She been stealing copper. And we all know why people steal copper around here, because when people steal copper, it's because they're smoking the meth. And I don't care if she's 10 years old, I know she's smoking that meth. I ain't gonna have no other bullshit around here. She can keep that shit at home. Okay, Randy, I have one more question. Mm hmm? Um, so I was told the other day that you were seen at a gentleman's club. Is that true? Who sent me? Gentlemen's? Oh, strippers. Strippers? Yeah. Oh, man. So, you know, I got my girlfriends, I got two girlfriends, you know, you know, uh, and the one of them, she works down at the Piggly Wiggly, she, she works at the cashier, but my other girlfriend, she, not the Mexican one works at the Piggly Wiggly, but my white girlfriend, well, she works down at Hot 10, and, well, you know what goes on down at Hot 10, and I don't approve of it, but. You should bring home that bacon, so I figured, well, all right, I got two girlfriends, and we ain't both perfect. So, I, uh, well, and I love her, so it's true love. I gotta accept people the way they are, as long as they ain't too much of nothing weird. And plus, that girl can move. Oh boy. Woohoo! Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah. Cut. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what else to ask. That's <laughs> so fucking stupid. It's the stupidest thing ever. It really is. Uh.
Action. Hey, Randy. Hmm? Did you get a Trump stimulus check? A Trump check? Yeah, yeah, you know, you know Trump. You know Trump, yeah. Well, he, he sent out a check to everybody because, you know, keep America great. And, uh, well, I went out and bought me a mini ATV. And, uh, well, but it didn't turn out so good because I got bad luck with that sort of thing. Because you know about my, my BMX problem that I had. I was a star, you know, in the BMX before that weasel, that little weasel jumped out and ruined my career. And, well, this time it was a little worse because I was on my mini ATV and a hog, a, a big old hog, cut loose from the fence from the neighbors cut right in front of me and I went right over the handlebars and that was it and I hit my head and well there goes my trunk check and that was it all gone oh hey Randy hmm? I heard that there's a, a manufacturing company in Del Rio Texas and uh, they're gonna be making these masks and supposedly Trump had something to do with that what do you think about that well what they ain't tell you is that Del Rio's in Mexico Mexico it ain't even in the United States. It's illegals. It's all illegals making it. All the illegals making making the masks. And who knows what they're putting in the mask? They might they might put anything. You don't know what they put in the mask. I I don't want no Mexican mask. Have you ever, have you ever made moonshine? Moonshine, yeah, yeah. We used to make that up there. I remember boy boy I was telling you about Scooty, the one that drank the bleach. Well, he used to make killer moonshine, and I told him, I said, I called him up the other day on the telephone, I said, I said, hey, Scooty, you know, that moonshine, that'd probably kill that virus everybody talking about. It'd probably kill it right away. All you got to do is drink that. You ain't got to drink no bleach. So I was going to uh, write a letter to the president, you know, Trump, Trump, you know, Trump. I was going to write a letter to him and say, hey, forget about all that bleach. We got Scooty over here, he made killer moonshine, kill that virus right up. <laughs> hey, Randy James. Hmm? Um, what did you think about Beto O'Rourke dropping out of the, uh, the election? Beto, what? Beto who? He's in Star Wars, ain't he? Beto, like a Jedi? But oh, well anyway, I know about that that fool. He he's talking about that he's gonna take everybody's guns. Well, fuck him. He ain't gonna take my gun. Well, Cause I sold my gun at the pawn stop. <laughs> so good luck. What else you want to know? Hey Randy, huh? <clears throat> who named you? Who named me? Who named me Randy? Mm -hmm. Was it your mom or your dad? Because I heard your dad um, was kind of famous. Yeah, uh, I think, well, I think Randy was his middle name. And I don't know because, well, you know, my mom, Ma James, she raised me. And, well, she was a hooker and you know people used to always say that she made all the boys randy and i think that's where i got my name randy because well because my grandma but i don't know if that's true or not but that's what i heard so was your dad famous yeah he was famous he was well known uh he was famous for a lot of things he well first of all he was pretty good on the bmx too like when it was first coming out and all. But really, he was the champion down at the Slam Bucket County Fair at the Crash Derby. And he had the best car, man. You could smash in that car, keep running all the time. It didn't matter. He 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 was real, real good, real wait, brave. Wait, I thought he was known for his tamales. Well, that's true, too. Uh, that's the part we don't want to talk about. Because, you know... Kids at school used to tease me that my grandpa, that my my daddy, and my grandpa was Mexican. 
I say, I ain't Mexican. I got blonde hair. What you talking about? That's somebody's band. Oh, uh, hey, Randy. Hmm? Um, when are you um, performing with your band? Gene Damaged. Yes. Uh, oh, Talk yeah. Talk a little bit about your band. Oh, man. We're going to be headlining over at where at the parking lot and the donkey at, at the donkey auction parking lot on the north parking lot of the slam bucket county fair and we got a real special opening act miss tina she was the 1997 hog smacking champion and that's the best man if you ain't seen proper hog smacking you you man that's some hot action right there man because she she got good technique on that but she gonna She's going to get on stage first, she's going to smack some hogs, and then we're going to get up and rock and roll, me and the boys, Gene Damaged. Wait, what is hog smacking? That's where girls in bikinis smack hogs. It's why? like... Why? Well, because then the hog squeals, and then everybody in the crowd squeals, and the girls are hot, and they, you know, it's kind of fun. You ain't never heard of hog smacking? No. Uh, no, I haven't. What you do is you, you just got to, it's a competition, and the way they judge it is who's got the best bikini and who smacks the hog on the ass the best. And that's who. That's how that goes. It's good. It's real good. Hmm. Is that animal cruelty? No, I think the hogs like it. I sure as hell would like it if I was up there getting smacked on the ass by a girl in the, in the, in the bikini, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, hey Randy. Mm -hmm. um, so I hear that you go to Walmart frequently. Do you like Walmart? Tell us a little bit about what you think about Walmart. I used to like Walmart, but they, well, you know, it used to be you could get something good there, but now you go and you buy something. You buy a weed eater or whatever you're going to buy, and it, they used to work real good, but now they break down all the time. So now. I go to get my weed eater and whatever at the Home Depot. Well, do you think it's because they're made in China? Well, Chinese, they put that virus up in the weed eaters and that don't work right no more. Chinese virus. Yeah, what do you think about the, the, uh, the name Chinese virus? Is that offensive? They're Chinese. That's where they came from. If you're a virus, you came from China. They all come from China. They make it over there. They eat the bats and they eat all kind of... Yeah, you know, over here we eat squirrels and, 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 and we eat rabbits and we eat all kind of weird stuff out here, but we don't get no virus. They sent that virus from over there to the Chinese. They don't, and they, they serve you a warm fucking beer too, man. They don't put the beer in the refrigerator in China. You go to China, I heard, because I got a friend of mine, he went to China, and he said, hey man, I went to China, and they gave me a warm beer. Warm beer. Never heard of it. Warm beer. Hey Randy, huh? what are some of your favorite foods? What do you like to eat? My favorite dinner is tater tots and fish sticks with ketchup and a beer. That's the best you that's the best meal ever. And then once a month, my girlfriend, my white girlfriend, she makes me spaghetti and meatballs. And then I gotta be slick on this one, because then another time of the month, my Mexican girlfriend she comes over, she makes me uh in the morning time the rancho grande burrito breakfast. It's real good. Rancho grande, green salsa. Do you like sloppy joes? Yeah, that's fine dining. Yeah. Do you, do you go to McDonald's? Yeah. Big Mac. And an apple pie. Do you eat bok choy? What? Bok choy? Yeah. Was that another virus? What's bok choy? Do you like kimchi? What's that? Don't be coming around here talking about viruses. You can keep your viruses at home. What about wasabi? That's all, you keep that in your home. Don't be bringing that up in here. I'm gonna have to spray some alcohol. We'll drink some bleach if you're talking about all that now.
Cut. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be bringing that up. <laughs>